partition walls. Essentially there are two types, solid, which are constructed from brick or blocks, and stud, which are wooden, clad with plasterboard. Solid is best, it lets less noise through, and you can bang nails into it almost anywhere you like. However, you can't just build a heavy, solid wall anywhere. It needs a foundation, so it's better suited to the ground floor. Solid walls made of aerated blocks are much lighter than brick and in certain circumstances can be built across short lengths of strengthened but essentially unsupported ground floors. Solid walls can only be built upstairs directly over existing solid ground floor walls or on newly installed steel beams. Timber stud walls are very much lighter but it is still important if you are thinking of building one directly across the centre of a bedroom floor to determine whether the floor will take even this reduced weight without first being strengthened. Let's consider some prices. You want to divide a large bedroom. There will be no door or electrics or radiators involved. The loft joists above are at right angles to the new wall and the room is completely clear. The new wall is to be timber studding with plasterboard, then plaster and a skirting board each side to finish. You are doing the decorating. That will cost about £745. The same job with a simple flush doorway fitted add £185. The same job with noggins in the loft add about £50. And the same job with a new radiator fitted add £275. You guess this, the same job but the light needs moving and another light and switch fitted add about £110. 